Meghan Markle left Prince Harry on the brink of tears after paying a loving tribute to her incredible husband and sharing a sweet kiss at the Invictus Games. The pair attended the Games opening ceremony in The Hague tonight, arriving at the event hand in hand. Harry looked smart in a grey suit with an open collar shirt while Meghan paired dark trousers with a 620 pounds white off the shoulder body suit by Kaite and a 12,800 pounds Cartier necklace. They both addressed the crowd in the arena at the opening ceremony with Meghan taking to the stage first. She told the crowd, Good evening everyone. We are so grateful to the Netherlands for welcoming us and hosting the Invictus Games. For each team, my husband and I recognize it has taken a lot to get there both physically, emotionally, not least of which for the Ukraine team who we are all standing by. We talked about it yesterday Slava Ukraini. One thing I know for sure is that every single moment it has taken to get here will be worth it. Because it is here at the Invictus Games that we honor your years of duty on the field and your continued service to your country, to your family and your community off the field. Love the Royals. Sign up for the Mirror's Daily Newsletter to get all the latest news on the Queen, Charles, Kate, Wills, Meghan, Harry and the rest of the firm. Click here to sign up. Thank you so much for your service and thank you to all of the family and friends that are here that have been supporting you along the way because this is service, this is dedication and this is the Invictus family. Now it is my distinguished honor to introduce someone that I think you'll all be very excited to hear from. He has also spent many late nights and early mornings planning for these games to make them as perfect as possible for each of you. I could not love and respect him more and I know that all of you feel the same because he is your fellow veteran, having served two tours of duty in Afghanistan and ten years of military service. Hess the founder of the Invictus Games, and the father to our two little ones, Archie and Lily. Please welcome my incredible husband, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. The pair kissed when Harry arrived on stage, and he appeared emotional before his speech, saying, Thank you, my love. The couple appeared happy and close during their public appearances at the event, holding hands and placing their hands on each other's backs. The Invictus Games was where the couple made their first public appearance together almost five years ago. Meghan made her first appearance at an official engagement attended by Harry on September 24, 2017, when she attended the opening ceremony in Toronto, Canada, although the pair sat about 18 seats apart. The following day, they emerged hand in hand to make their first official public appearance together at the wheelchair tennis. In Harry's speech, he spoke sweetly about young son Archie, who is almost three and revealed how they chat about what the toddler wants to be when he grows up, and it includes a daredevil cartoon cat who dresses like a pirate. Addressing the Invictus Games competitors, Harry said, to be role models, or the role models, that each of you are takes strength and it takes courage. When I talk to my son Archie about what he wants to be when he grows up, some days it's an astronaut, other days it's a pilot, a helicopter pilot obviously, or quasi from Octonauts. If you're laughing then you've seen that. But what I remind him is that no matter what you want to be when you grow up, it's your character that matters most, and nothing would make his mum and me prouder than to see him have the character of what we see before us today. Harry said those involved with Invictus have overcome immense challenges, adding, and together you're healing and teaching the world as you go. Also in his speech, Harry paid tribute to the boundless humility, the compassion and the friendship of the Invictus Games. He said, I want to personally thank the people of the Netherlands for welcoming us with such warm Dutch hospitality. And thank you to the Dutch government, the Ministry of Defense and the Dutch royal family for their support in making this all happen after a two-year wait. He also paid tribute to the bravery of Team Ukraine in choosing to attend the Games, echoing his wife's earlier sentiment that everyone stands with them. He said, your bravery in choosing to come and for being here tonight cannot be overstated. You told me yesterday when you decided to join us despite all odds, you said you came to be on this global stage, not simply to show your strength but to tell your truth, the truth, of what is happening in your country. You know we stand with you. The world is united with you and still you deserve more. And my hope is that these events, this event, creates the opportunity in how we as a global community can better show up for you.